Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about something very important. Uh, there seems to be a bit of uh, a confusion, misunderstanding in regards to moving a body or and moving a component. Um, what you have to understand, it's very important, is when you're moving a body, it's not the same as when you're moving a component. When you move a, a body, you move you move it in relation to the component's origin. But when you move a component, you move it in relation to the root component. It's better to, to, to show it in order to uh, explain it, so uh, let's start. First thing first, I'm gonna create a new component. I'm just gonna, and I'm gonna create a new body. And I'll just take a sphere, put it here. All right. Now, as you probably noticed, when you are creating a component, you have a, a new folder called Origin, and you can turn it on and off, and it's exactly identical to the root uh, component's origin. Exactly identical. As default, when you create a component, it creates exactly in the center. So both uh, origins. Uh, aligned to each other. Now, um, let's see. I'm going to turn both of them on so you can see it's much easier to see what's happened in real time. First of all, I'm going to move the body. So we're doing a right click, press and move. Let's push it a little bit backwards. That's it. Now, as you can see, now we moved it in relation to the component, not to the origin. And how do I know that? It is because when, if I move the component now, we'll see what happened. Now I'm moving the whole component. Now you see, this is our, let me just turn the root component on. Now you can see, this is our component origin, and this is our root component origin, here at the top. See the, the difference? So you have to be really aware of that when you, for example, if you're importing, importing a part inside your assembly and it's not sitting right, so um, it's either it's not um, aligned um, according to uh, inside your component, or also the component is not uh, aligned with the root uh, component in that assembly. So it's easy to turn both of them on, and then you can see actually what's happening and uh, where to fix it. So I hope you understand now the difference. If you have uh, any more questions, please put it down below in the comments. If you like this video, please don't forget the thumbs up and stay tuned because there are much more, uh, a lot of more uh, new videos are coming uh, soon. The next video, uh, it's gonna be something that a lot of people have been waiting for for a long time. I'm going to show you how to apply appearance to an object and how to uh, apply your own texture, how to add your own texture. If you cannot find a texture uh, uh, inside a, a fusion that you like and you want to uh, use your own, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.